In this video, I'm going to show you how you can migrate away from device to your own custom authentication logic using uh, Reels' has secure password helper. So right here, we've got a device app and I can log in. So I can say pete at rapidruby.com and type in my password. And then when I log in, we've got a members area. So you can see some members. We've got a log out button and we'll go ahead and log out. So we've also got the sign up form that comes with device as well. Um, and we're going to show you how you can migrate away from this. So the first thing we're going to do is in our user model, we're going to add the has secure password helper. And then I'm just adding two methods here. So device calls the password column encrypted password and it's password digest um, for has secure password. So these just remap that database column. You can generate a migration if you want to actually rename it from this to this, um, but this allows you to migrate without uh, doing any database column changes. Um, we'll also just take out the device helpers at the top here. Then the next thing is in our roots, we want to get rid of device. And I have added two controllers here. So we've got a signups controller for creating new accounts and a sessions controller for logging in and logging out with the destroy method. So we'll see if that, and then we will go into our application controller and I've made a concern called auth helper that will give us all the methods that we need. Um, and it will also um, continue to support authenticate user, which comes from device. Um, we can then get rid of this code that allows our display name field in device. And so we can save that. If I go to our auth helper, um, you'll see we've defined an authenticate user method, which redirects to uh, the login page if you're not signed in. We have a sign in method which checks for a current user. And then our current user actually uses encrypted cookies with the user ID and looks up the user from the database that way. We have a sign in method that we can use to set the encrypted cookie for the user and a sign out method that again um, just deletes that cookie. So that's our auth helper. It's all relatively simple. Then we can uh, go to our sessions controller and start implementing this. So for login, we will do this and we'll say user equals user dot find by email. And there will be a params email coming from our signup form. We can then say if user uh, dot authenticate. And I'm using the pretzel here. Um, because if we don't find you by email, user's going to be nil. And then we'll pass in params password. And if that doesn't work, we can say uh, flash alert invalid email or password. And then we can redirect to a new session path to load our form again. Then if it does work, what we want to do is sign in the user and then redirect to root path for our members area. And we can add a flash message as well saying signed in successfully. And so let's try that out. So now if we try and go to our homepage we get redirected to our new custom login form. So we can go and type our username in again. Hit login. And we see an error. So our logout button with device, we just need to update this, uh, this path. So we'll go to our uh, view for the members area and we'll change this to be 
session path and pass in the current user and then reload so now you can see we get the signed in successfully message and um, we're still logged in and we are now not using device anymore uh, to make our logout button work we go back to sessions controller and we just call that sign out helper that I defined in the auth helpers concern and we can redirect to new session path back to this the sign in screen um, with a notice saying logged out successfully so now if we reload and hit log out and um, you'll see logged out successfully and that's our login form now we can go to our signups slash new and you'll see we've got our sign up form um, so we can go to signups controller and basically do a check here we'll say uh, user equals user dot new with user params so we're just pulling these params from the form we can say if user dot save then we want to sign in that user again similar to logging in then we can say signed up successfully and we can redirect to root path if it doesn't work we can render new which will re-render our sign up form um, but have the form errors on our user so let's try that out first if we reload and hit sign up you can see we get some errors and then if we fill in the details here so let's say eric and we'll hit sign up and we get signed up successfully eric's now in our list of users and that's all working so hope that was interesting and um, as you can see it's very easy to move away from device if that's something that you want to do and um, there's not really any lock in there um, it uses the bcrypt gem um, the same as has secure password does so that should all be fairly easy you don't even need to change the database columns if you don't want to so uh, if you enjoyed this please give me a like and consider subscribing for more content like this thanks